Hi there. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can enhance graphics in Little Company, how you can make game look more aesthetic, pleasing and better overall. So for this we will have to install a couple of mods. We're going to do it manually, so if you don't know how you can install mods manually, you can go find the video tutorial on it on our channel, check it out, then come back here and follow these steps. So firstly we open internet browser, do something like little company mods, go to the first page, the Sunder store, and we will have to install a couple of mods. Uh, the first one will be HD Little Company. You search for like this HD Little Company with no space bars. Uh, the second mode will be uh, camera filter remover. So you just Google something like camera. And this is our mod. This one. So the next one will be uh, FOV adjust. You can Google just something like FOV. Uh, and this is our mod, this one. Next one will be HUD toggle. So you can just uh, search for something like HUD. And here is this mod. Next one will be draw distance increase. You should search for something like view. And this is our mod, this view in, in extension. And the last one will be the fog remover. So this one is like the most uh, demanding mod for your PC. It's also like, uh, it's also like the most, uh, how can I say, broken mode because it kind of breaks the game in a way that you can see monsters and objects on map from far away and I think it's not like intended to be that way but if you're okay with it and you just want the game look more aesthetic and uh, your PC can handle this mod then you can install it uh, freely. So now we just manually download on all these mods. Let's start from this one. So what you have to do is to drop the contents of this pleb in uh, X uh, pack folder to our little company folder. We right click it on Steam, go to properties, installed files, browse. So we go to pleb in X, plugins, no, just pleb in X and contents. This pleb in X we uh, drop here. Okay, so now we have to configure this mod. We go to config, uh, open this CFG file. If it doesn't open in Notepad for you by default, you right click it, open with Notepad. So here we have to adjust some uh, settings to enhance our graphics. So first we have to enable anti-aliasing. This unit is SMAA. So we switch this uh, value to true. Then we have to disable this post processing. Uh, we switch this value to false. We can also like uh, increase volumetric fog quality, but it doesn't really matter because we are going to disable the fog. We can uh, enhance level of detail. So as you can see, the default value is one. We can uh, like increase it to two. Shadows quality on max by default, and that's uh, everything you can enhance in this uh, config. You can also like uh, switch your adjust your resolution for like bigger uh, screens or something like that. So we just save this file and get into the next mod. Uh, the next one will be this camera filter. So we download it manually, then drop the contents of this plugins folder into our little company's plugin folder. Ah. Oh wait. 
Uh, here it is. <laughs> yeah. So here uh, we shouldn't do any configuration. Uh, let's just get to the next mod, this view extension. As you can see on the screenshots, it just increased the view distance. On this one we can't see any mountains, on this one we can see like mountains from far away. So we just manually download it. Then we drop this DLL file into our uh, Blappinex plugins folder. Basically in our little company folder. The next mod will be the Sphere via Adjust. So we just open this archive, drop the contents of plugins into the little company folder, hot toggle, we manually download too, drop hot toggle DLL to plugins, and the last one is remover of fog, we drop it to this folder too. Okay, so now we have all the mods. We can configure other mods after we run the game once. So the config file will be generated. So let's... What? Do I have no mods? Okay, and as you can see now graphics look kinda other way for me with all this configuration. Uh, so with this toggle, uh, hot toggle, you can just press T on your keyboard and toggle this uh, hot. With this fov adjust you can type like a chat something like slash fov and uh, the value of your field of view. I think 95 is okay. And you can also remove these visor bars uh, from the screen. Just type something like slash toggle uh, visor. And you can disable this too. And now that's how the game looks like. So let's land on, on rent. So I can show you like how the graphics look like outside of the ship. So this is rent with no fog, with increased graphics. That's how it looks like. So yeah something like that <laughs> and the fire exit is here okay so that will be it I guess thanks for watching if you find this tutorial useful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel.